another haul video for you guys. I recently took my best friend and we went a little, did a little bit of shopping and I wanted to share all the things that I got with you guys because it's quite a lot of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video because like I said, there's quite a lot of stuff to go through. So let's get started. So before I get started, I actually wanted to just let you guys know that the weather outside is a little bit um, kind of cloudy and windy and rainy. So if the lighting kind of changes and like it's like, oh, it's bright and then oh, it's like dark, like that's what it is and I use natural light. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because there's a couple of stops that I made. I went to Shoppers, I went to Target, um, Sephora, The Body Shop, Bath & Body Works, whatever you said that one, I don't remember. Um, so this is the bag and I have all of my stuff in this big Bath & Body Works bag. So I'm going to go ahead and start with The Body Shop since it's the smallest and so this is here. When she handed it to me I'm like, oh I feel like I'm in like grade school again, I have like a little lunch bag. Weird. Um, so I bought this shampoo. This is the banana shampoo, and I heard about this from All That Glitters 21. I think she uses this, and this is a banana shampoo. It thoroughly cleanses hair for a super shiny finish with gorgeously beauty banana puree and community fair trade honey. So it's for all hair types, and I just really like um, trying. I like trying new hair products because I find that it kind of makes me that much closer to finding like my hair routine if that makes sense like it's pretty much always changing but I wanted to give this a shot um, as like maybe a replacement for like a clarifying shampoo it smells very banana-y so if you don't like the smell of banana you're not gonna like this plus it was like I think it came to nine dollars and four cents I thought it was gonna be a lot more expensive so I was like hey if I don't like it like it's not like I spent $30 on a shampoo. So that's the first thing that I got. Then I went over to Sephora and I got just one thing. Um, I wanted to pick up another one of my Corez uh, Wild Rose Buffing Cleanser and I showed this in the product empties video that I filmed in this exact same outfit um, previous to this one and I wanted to take another one because my skin absolutely loves it. I love this stuff so much and um, it ran out a couple weeks ago and I was like what am I going to do? Like, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite. And because I'm a beauty insider, so you get, like, um, different, like, samples that you can get for the amount of points that you have. So I picked up the Corez Greek Yogurt Advanced Nourishing Sleeping Facial. I wanted to try this line because I'm looking for something that's um, a little bit less for, like, hyperpigmentation and stuff like that, and a little bit more on the nourishing side. So I got this, and it was 100 points, I believe, and I'm really sorry to try it. So that is from Sephora. So next is Target. Yes, the beloved Target is now in Canada. I'm so excited. I think I was more excited for Target than I was for anything else that I did that day. We went shopping. Um, so the first thing I got, actually no, I'll show you the first thing um, because I'm actually wearing them right now. So I got this pair of PJs, and I think they're from... Um, Gilligan and O'Malley. I'll just stand on my chair here. So they're just like long, kind of dotted, animal printy um, pants, and they're so so comfortable. Like you have no idea. I I'm probably gonna live in them for the next couple days. Um, yeah, they're so comfortable. I think they're about seventeen dollars. Then I got this um, tank top here. It's a really nice, like kind of fluorescent -y green, and it's a eight dollars and it has a built-in bra which I'm not crazy about but it doesn't feel extremely like constricting like some other built-in bras are so I thought this would be really good and cute for like the summer it's just a simple like plan plan plain tank top and even for working out and stuff um, and it was eight bucks so I can't beat that then on to beauty things so I didn't really go there for them but when I saw them I was like uh, why have I not remembered to get these before? So these are the Goody, Goody, Goody Classic Elastics. These are the small, like, clear ones that you can use to, like, tie up, like, the end of braids and stuff like that. So I wanted to pick some of those up, and I did. Then I got a nail file. This is just a Revlon nail file. Not very exciting. I spilled coffee on mine, so I needed a new one. <laughs> Then, these two products I totally wasn't expecting on getting. I actually went there for um, the Real Technique, Technique brushes. I heard that Target carried them. Um, and I really wanted to pick up their Expert Face Brush, but ours doesn't have it. So, I'm pretty pissed. Um, but I did spot the NYX 
Mega Shine Gloss in Beige. I've been looking for this everywhere. I've gone up to at least four drugstores here where I live, and then I've gone to other ones a couple of a little bit away, and I finally found it, and I picked it up, and it was the last one. I'm so excited to try it. And finally, this here. So you've heard me talk about the Desert Essence Coconut Hand and Body Lotion. <sighs> I love that stuff so much. So I got the Desert Essence Organics Tropical Coconut Hand and Body Lotion because you can't have enough coconut. Um, this is supposed to be relaxing, whereas the other is nourishing, but I just, I'm obsessed with this stuff. So I've already talked about the other one um, a lot, so if you want to see... Uh, if you want to hear a little bit more about it, go check out my, I think it was my May favorite video where I talk about it a little bit more. And yeah, I absolutely love it. And it was like $9, so I'm, it just, it's awesome. Um, it smells pretty similar. It's a little bit more tropical, a little bit sweeter almost. And um, I really like it. So I'm so happy. I'm like, oh my god, they have my cream. Like I literally, I literally like kind of went into like a fangirly voice. It was very strange. Next, I went to Bath and Body Works, and this is where I did a lot of damage. So I went there for hand soaps because I get all my hand soaps there. They smell really, really great, and they usually have like a pretty good deal, like five for twenty or seven for twenty-five. Blah blah blah. So today, um, a video that I went, they had a five for twenty dollar. Um, hand soap deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the scents that I got. The first one I've gotten before, it's the Sea Island Cotton, which just smells amazing. I'll put them back as I go. Then I got another one of the Wildberry Dahlia, and I have this in my bathroom right now. It smells amazing, so like fresh and summertimey and nice. Then I got the Fresh Picked Strawberries, and it smells just like strawberries. <laughs> And this one my, my friend actually picked out. She's like, oh my god, I need to smell it. I wouldn't have picked it up, um, but it's from the Italian collection. It's the Bella Flora. And I don't really know how to explain this, except that it smells like, like a nice, like soft floral scent. And it smells really, really great. I really like it, but I would never have picked it out. And then this is the Island Bamboo. And this one is for the downstairs bathroom, I think, because it smells like the least, like, feminine if that makes sense because my dad and my brother use that bathroom so I don't want them to smell like girls after they get out of the bathroom but it just smells kind of fresh and clean and I really like that. Then I got three candles so they had a two for 30 deal on for their three wick candles which I got two of and then I wanted to get a little one of the London Calling candle. This stuff is supposed to smell like tea and lemon and it totally does. I smelt it and I'm like, oh my god, I am home. So it says here, at the back, I have a little description. A royal blend of tea, lemon, and sugar. Great traditions from across the pond. And it's amazing. It's probably my new favorite scent. And it just, if you love the smell of green tea, it's amazing. It's, uh, I could just, I want to burn this right now. Like, it smells so good. Um, I've been saying like, like 50 times. Um, but seriously, it's amazing. Go and smell it now, at least. The two candles that I got are from their um, newest collection. The first one I got is the Strawberry Picnic, and it just smells, it's a very light scent. It kind of smells like strawberry, like yogurt, kind of, to me. I don't know, it's weird, but um, it's just a very light, kind of not so, like, in-your-face, strong scent. And I thought that would be nice for like the bathroom or somewhere where you don't really want a really overpowering scent. Then I got the watermelon lemonade, which smells like, oh my god, delicious. Um, sorry, my, if you can hear like, it's like my neighbors that live a little bit down the road. When they drive home, they're like, their music is pounding. I'm like, can you not do that? I'm trying to film. Um, but this stuff smells amazing, and their candles are great. They're, I think, regularly $22.50 here in Canada. So the fact that I get two of them for 30 bucks was awesome. Plus, I had a coupon for 30% off, so I used that up, obviously. And I think I saved about $15, $16, so I was pretty happy with that. Yep. And finally, I went to Shoppers Drug Mart, and I picked up a few things. Sorry if you can't hear me over the bag. There. We're done. So I picked up a small size of the L'Oreal Paris Elnette Satin, and this is for color treated hair. I'm not sure if that actually means anything, but it was the same price, and it's a stronghold rather than an extra stronghold. Um, I like strongholds 
because they're not quite as stiff, I find. And I really like this stuff. It's really light, um, but it smells like really like kind of old lady-ish. Um, <laughs> but it works really great and I really like it, so I'll probably keep using that. Then I picked up um, a new mascara. I threw out the packaging on accident, but it's the Falsies Mascara from Volume Express by Maybelline. And it's in very black, or black is black, I don't really know. This stuff is really, really good. I really like it. I'm wearing it today. Um, I'm not usually a fan of brushes that are really, like, flexible like this. Um, like, I don't love that aspect of it. But the actual brush itself is like a spoon. Like, it's it's not quite curved. It's just like a spoon. It's, it's weird. I used it, and I'm like, how, like, where am I supposed to hold this? I don't know. But the way that I do it, I really like it, and it's a definitely a little bit more of a not-so-like-bam dramatic mascara, even though it's supposed to look like you have false lashes. For me, it doesn't really do that, but I do like it. Then I got a limited edition Maybelline color tattoo, and this is in Precious Pearl. And I haven't used it yet, but I saw it, and I was like, oh my god, I have to have you. It's just a really nice pearlescent kind of cream color, and I think it'll be great um, even just like in the inner corner in the brow bone, um, maybe underneath shadows as well. I don't know. I'll have to experiment a little bit with it, but I picked it up because it looks so pretty. And I got the L'Oreal Nail Polish in Not a Cloud in Sight, number 111, and it's a great color. I did paint my toes with this color, and it looked awesome. It's uh, a really nice kind of like robin's egg blue and i love it for summer it looks really really nice then i picked up this by soap and glory it's the hand food hydrating hand cream with shea butter macadamia oil and marshmallow Ooh. uh yes so thank you guys so much for watching this haul i hope you guys enjoyed seeing what i purchased the most recently and excuse me while i drink some ginger ale i'm not feeling too good today um kind of woke up a little off, so I'm just drinking some, some ginger ale to calm my little tummy. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching this haul video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, have a lovely day, or week, or whatever, um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!